repairing and Samsung Eco Bubble circuit board. Well, I bought this washing machine because I was after the uh, the motor, which is a, a three phase permanent magnet motor, which I was planning on using as a, a possibly a wind turbine to generate power. Uh, but the condition of the washing machine was really, really good, and the wife liked the look of it, so she asked us to see if I could fix it. Um, I did find somebody on the internet who had a similar problem, where he had dry joints on the board, so I followed his guide, removed the circuit board, uh, which is covered with a type of silicon gel stuff uh, it's normally got this plastic on the back it's basically you've got a dremel around the edges to remove and then you've got all this thick gunk stuff around here which is like uh like i say like a like a silicon type thing it comes off from the board fairly easy um so anyway i did all the dry joints still wouldn't work drum just wasn't trying to turn at all um, so the next point of call was the motor driver, which is underneath the seat sink there. Um, <clears throat> the chip number for that, after I removed it, was a IKCM 15F60GA, which I ordered two from Ally Express. Um, one of them, unfortunately, didn't seem to work when I received them. But uh, the other one seems to work fine. So basically fitted this into there. That's the um, that's the points there that the chip soldered into. I accidentally cracked the circuit board trying to remove it because again it's glued in with this uh, silicon type compound. Uh, and it took quite a bit of force to actually remove the heat sink and then get the chip off the board. But uh, <clears throat> Let's see it working in action now then. Get some power. Yeah, the display is flickering just because of the uh, the camera in real. So the, when you're viewing it with your eye, the display is not flickering. And hopefully, when it gets into its spin cycle in a moment. The price of the chips, I should mention, they're only five dollars each, so it cost us ten ten pound to fix the whole the whole unit and there we have it all back up and working Well, hope this video is useful to somebody else out there. So, if you have a problem with one of these washing machines that isn't doing anything at all, I think it's either going to be dry joints or it's going to be that uh, motor control chip. Bye for now.